I come from a village, you know, from this kind of like no post office, no gas station, no supermarket kind of village, you know. And there's probably hardly anyone playing a musical instrument in that village, right? So, so moving to Berlin to me was surprisingly not much of a change. Well, there were, of course, like connection points with like the big city thing, but I was not part of like club culture, techno explosion, drum and bass revolution, whatever kind of thing. You know, I was just me in my own system sort of working on my stuff. Music is very important to me and always has been, right? Like emotionally, motivationally, like there's all this enthusiasm and like sheer like energy I always got from music, you know? So from very early on, there was like some idea of one day like doing my own music. The real art, in my opinion, or the real challenge is to, you know, be as intuitive and spontaneous and emotional as possible and to be as connected as possible to your creative process. It needs to happen on a certain level because reality itself, like every single person's private life of today is like like layers and layers and layers of like complexity and like interaction with like interfaces and complex structures being emulated or simulated in software and musical instruments like digital software musical instruments are just special cases of these kind of like complex structures you interact with so the real challenge is to reach this level of a really direct connection to your like emotional life almost or like the the expressive element in your creative process
I don't like the term, you know, experimental music. And I don't like the term like being like a researcher of, of something. I mean, I was always very determined to kind of push the limits, but not so much technologically, because obviously like my music was always like a very low budget kind of affair, but like conceptually, it's hard, you know, it, the hardest part is to like challenge music in certain aspects and then like find a good answer for yourself why you are doing this. Alles heute? Ja. Kann ich sagen. Du. Wahnsinn. Super. Echt toll. Naja, für das große Finale hat dann das Budget nicht mehr gereicht. Es <lacht> ist ja natürlich klar, dass also am Ende muss es natürlich nach diesem muss dann so. Aber das kam dann halt nicht mehr. Ich weiß nicht, ich fand, das war eigentlich alles schon Finale. Also ich hatte eher gedacht. Ja, das war alles schon so. Also da, äh, am Ende jetzt würde ich mir jetzt sogar denken, das würde in so einen ganz anderen Teil reingehen, also wie so umkippen, mm -hmm. nochmal so ein, wie es auch schon so angedeutet war, ganz am Schluss dann, super, echt, ganz saugut. Da hast du, das, ist das ja alles schon da. Mm -hmm. Ich fand es eigentlich, ähm, ich finde, da steckt ein Song drin, aber es ist auch freier oder interessanter als so ein, mm -hmm. so ein Song, wie man den jetzt dann so sich so denken könnte. Also finde ich... Ich hänge zwar schon irgendwie immer dann wieder so dran an ja, den Songs ja. mhm. irgendwie, aber ich finde es natürlich auch langweilig und finde natürlich auch ganz, äh, finde echt eine Musik spannend, die das irgendwie gar nicht braucht, die sich einfach entwickelt und auch einfach irgendwo hinkommt und man auch am Ende oder irgendwo gar nicht mehr weiß, wie das angefangen hat. Mhm. Das hat doch gar keine Bedeutung. Mhm. Es diente eigentlich nur dazu, <lacht> sozusagen das einmal in Bewegung zu versetzen. Yeah. 
The music I listen to as a listener is always, has always been like so different from my own music. And by now, I really regard this almost as a necessity. Like my own music, which I create as a producer, would not be the way it is if I, as a listener, didn't love completely different music, right? So, so one cannot exist without the other. That's my, that's my achievement, that I'm creating something and managing my kind of resources and balancing my kind of influences and kind of channeling it into me delivering music that can actually impact emotionally other people's lives in the real world out there somewhere, you know? And I'm kind of, in a way, completely involved, time-wise and resource-wise and emotionally and so on. But on the other hand, I'm just, you know, navigating this. I'm more like navigating. I would say, I would use the term navigating. I'm not, it's not the case that I'm just the, the hand on the mouse or something. On the other hand, I'm not the composer either. I'm just navigating options. You know, I'm kind of like an art director of my, of my of my system.